my programming and i am going into sixth standard okay nice and i guess these days you are having your summer vacation yes great so how is it going good good i play outside i bike i have math class so i do studying now i have python and i do drum classes every mondays okay okay that's great that's good to sound thanks arjun for your introduction and ane can i have your sure. my name is ane um i'm going into 7th standard mm. my favorite thing about the computer is python and my hobby is soccer okay uh, can you repeat your hobbies and can i request you to speak a bit louder my my hobby is soccer soccer okay that's great so you like which player you like the most in soccer man in messi uh huh okay that's great great and uh, okay so thanks ane for your introduction we'll talk a little more and uh, so let's move to ira hi ira good morning i think good afternoon for you yeah yeah good afternoon um, i'm enjoy. going to my name's ira i'm going to 7th grade i live in canada ontario like ontario canada um my hobbies are skateboarding playing the guitar and doing basketball and art and i'm on summer vacation okay so what's your plan for your summer vacations i go biking with my friends and i draw and i play basketball a lot so okay things we can't really play outside in our neighborhood nowadays because so yeah. okay thanks thanks ira so okay so i think like this is pretty much good and it's good to get to know about you guys so you guys want to know anything specific about myself so you can ask that if you guys want to know anything about myself about me basically no okay that's getting it great okay so now um we will talk a little bit about computers like i'll just try to understand and try to know that what all you guys know about computers and how well you guys are equipped with the computer terminologies and these things so based on that we will start our sessions or start our classes and i have some presentations which i will be sharing with you guys like basically which will have some differences and things but i'll explain most of the things in a practical approach so that you can get to know the things in a more easier way okay if you guys feel that i am going very fast so please feel free to stop me and ask your doubts as well as if you guys feel or if you have any other question anything you can always unmute yourself and ask me the questions the questions can be of any type it don't think that okay is this question is really like it seems to you that it's not good but it can be and if i am also telling you anything wrong so you can tell me that sir this is wrong okay everyone is good good so who can tell me what is computer Arjun what is computer don't google it computer is a machine it helps humans in finding things instead of looking in books Com computer can compute in easy seconds when you are in reading you have to find it in couple of maybe minutes or hours 
Okay, let's hear out from Ira also. What is computer? It helps humans like read, write, and basically it's the internet. So it does things faster than an ordinary text. Okay. What about Ane? What do you think, Ane? Um, computer is a device that helps you go on the internet and ask questions that came up before the phone. So back then, people were using the computer. Okay, that's that's great. So I think you guys know a basic use that how computer is being used in your day to day life and how you can make use of computer by using it for your uh, school homework or for your playing the games or for downloading or using the internet, sending emails and these stuff. So we will talk more about computer. We'll talk how exactly a proper definition fits in com fits for computer. So we'll talk all those things as well. But before that, I would like to ask Ane that what are the computer parts? What what are computer parts you know about? Um, there's the motherboard. There's so, Ane, can I request you to speak a bit louder because, or uh, like from tomorrow onwards, I will also put my headphones. Yeah. Um, there's the motherboard. Um, there's the mouse in the computer. Okay. Um, there's the battery. Okay. Okay. That's great. So what type of computer you are using? Are you using laptop or a desktop based on a personal computer? An HP laptop. You're using HP laptop. Okay. Arjun, what do you think? What are the computer parts? Just like Ana said, uh, motherboard, mouse, and then keyboard. I would, I was gonna add a keyboard. Keyboard is one of the most important parts on a computer because if you don't have a keyboard, you can't do a computer. Okay, okay. And Ira, what do you think? Same like as they said, motherboard, um, a keyboard, a mouse. Screen. Okay. So don't you guys think that speaker or CPU or your screen or basically the monitor which is there, are those not part of computers? They are also part of computers. So if we talk like we will talk about all those parts in detail that what are the uses of those, but how we can make use of these parts, but I think I would like to add on more parts like you guys have added in that. And I would say that we have CPU, which is the most important part. Keyboard, as Arjun said, it is important part, but apart from keyboard, we have CPU also, which is more important part of the computer, which is the brain of the computer. Like we have brain here. Similarly, we have, which is the most, our, in our body, what is the most important thing? Our brain, right? So similarly, for computer, the CPU is the brain of the computer. Okay. And we have sound or the speakers. We have the monitor or the screen. If you are using a laptop, it is the screen. These are also the important parts of computer. Okay. Now, uh, so anyone knows that how, what kind of computers we have or like what are the different types of computers we have? Yeah, Ira. We have a Microsoft Windows desktop, um, like more like desktop one, Windows seven. Yeah, so these are the operating systems. Okay. Do you guys know what is operating system? No. Okay. That's not an issue. I tell you that what is operating system. Anyone knows Arjun, you know, what is operating system? Ane? Is it an no. operating system like it's like a brain? There are many brains that help operate the computer. Okay, yes, yes. So, the ones which Ira talked about that is the uh, 
uh, if we, the era talked about these things, like we have the Windows, the uh, the Mac or other systems, which these are the operating systems. But when I say about the types of computers, okay, when I say about the types of computers, so types of computers, what do they include is that we can have a personal computer that is a desktop based where we have a desktop, we have one small CPU, one keyboard attached and one mouse attached, right? That, that is one type of computer. We can have the tabs which we are using these days. We have a MacBook, okay, or we have the any other tab or the, these things which we use. Those are also what? Those are also my computers, okay? Now, apart from that, if I say, your, uh, don't you think your smartphone is one of the computer only? It works like a computer, isn't it? You can do almost all the things which you are yes. doing. Yeah. So smartphone is also one of the. First time is now in school. Yeah. Sorry, Arjun. Can you repeat yourself? Your cell phone is just like a, a computer, but it's just on a smaller screen. Exactly. Right. That's. Correct. So, our smartphone on a smaller screen. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear you, right? So these all are uh, by different types of computers. Okay. Anyone else wants to add anything which you guys know about computer already? Which you guys think that you know about computer and you want me to tell that you already know before I go ahead? Yes, Ane. Mm -hmm. Well, like computer brands, they can evolve in time in the future when you go in the future. So they computer so, program. Just be the same. Um, can you repeat yourself, Ani? Um, com computer brands evolve, like when you go in the future, and they don't just be the same. Like, like they're like new edition of computer. Yep. Yep. That's right. That's right. Anything else anyone want to add from Arjun or Yaira? Um, computers also use code because like when you click the plus button on a tab, it uses code to send you to a new tab. Okay, so do you have any code knowledge? Do you have you written any code? Any programming knowledge? Um, I've only learned block coding. Okay. okay. I, before the virus, I used to do first Lego League, which you program Lego robots to do certain activities on the table. Oh, that, that's nice. So you have done the programming on the robotics, right? And then I did a little bit of code.org. Okay. 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 And Anil, do you have any programming experience or any coding experience? Have you tried your hands on anything? Before the virus, um, like after school, there's like this classroom we go and then they p taught us Python. A Python. Yeah, Python. And, okay, and nice. In, co in COVID nineteen, I've done Python as well, so I know a lot about Python. Okay, okay, that's nice. That's nice. So that's nice. So fine. Let me. Just give me a moment. Now I will share my screen and then we'll talk about a little bit about computers. Okay, anyone has any questions? No. So everyone can see my screen. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So this program named I have given it as a computing for kids, as we we all are kids. You are a kid and I am also a kid with you guys. So we all will learn a computer and we all will get to know about computer in the fun way okay in some in some kind of fun language okay now 
before all this, let's see what we have planned it for today or what all things we can go ahead with today. So for today, we will take, try to keep it in a short so that we, let's, we'll understand the things and we'll do the same. Now, the first agenda was to interaction with students. Okay, so we have interacted with you guys. After that, we'll talk about little bit about the introduction to computers and how is the computer and what is it about. And we will talk about different parts of computers and other the input devices, how computer works, what are the hardware, what are the uses of computers, limitations and different advantages and other things. Let's talk about a little bit about introduction to computers. Okay. Now, com sorry, computer is one of the Latin word, okay, which came from a word known as compute. Okay, which came from the word known as compute. Now, if you see, we are using computer in our day to day life. Okay. If you go to any of your office, if you go to your school, if you go to college, if you go to supermarket, anywhere we have, everywhere we have the computers and they are being used for a different, different purpose in the different, different sectors or in the different, different areas. Okay. So we can use it in supermarket for billing purpose, for adding your items, whatever the item which you bought. You, it, whatever the groceries which you bought, whatever the chips you bought, and it gives you the, it does the calculations for you and it prints out the bill for you, okay? And it gives you. Now, similarly, if you do, if you see your father or your mother, they work, if they work in IT, or if they, they do some work in computer and these things, okay, right now we are also interacting with the help of computer, right now, right? On the, this video call, we are help, help, interacting with the help of computer over the internet okay now <coughs> computer is what it is one of the latin word known as compute it derived from a word latin word known as compute compute means that it is doing some sort of calculations compute means that it is doing some sort of calculations okay continuously if you type anything it will do some sort of calculation now let's see what is computer Computer is an elect yeah, uh, era. Do we need to like remember that and write it down or? Not exactly. You just have to understand that what is computer. You don't have to by heart these things and stuff. So don't worry about that. It just to show you guys that what and to so that you can read it. But you don't have to remember it at all. You will understand it in a very basic terms so that you just know what is thing. So we know that what is computer? Computer is one of the electronic device which helps you to store anything, to process anything, or you can get the output of anything. Now, what is that anything? That thing is that whatever instructions you are giving. Like if you give some instructions to computer, what it will do? It will uh, basically uh, like it will follow those instructions and it will work accordingly. Okay. Now let's take an example here. Let's see that if I ask you that, can you give me a, can you give me bread butter? So can anyone tell me what would you do to give me the bread butter? Look up on the computer bread butter and it will give you results of bread butter or you go to your fridge and take it. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I am just asking that if I am asking you that, okay, how you can, if you have to like serve a bread butter to me or to any of your guests or for yourself also, if you have oh. to, then how will you do that? What would be the process you would be following? You will not keep bread and butter directly, right? that you will not keep bread and butter directly. What you will do that you will take a slice of a bread. You will pick up a knife. The, you'll take a butter knife and with the help of butter knife, what you will do, you will spread the butter over the bread, right? You will spread it over the bread. And once you have spread it, you will put the, another slice of bread over that. Might you will cut it into half pieces and then you will put it over the plate and then you will serve it 
for yourself or for someone else whoever is using it right ane yeah yes any questions you have yeah ane go ahead wait are you trying to say that like just like you're giving like us the script instructions to give bread and butter like the computer also gets instructions to give something exactly yeah so if you have to program your computer in such a way that it should prepare let's say let's assume that if computer has hands let's assume that if computer has hands so what will computer do it will it, you, it, it if computer has hands and if it, computer has to prepare the bread butter what computer will do that it will basically go ahead and it you will give the set of instructions to computer you will give the instruction that okay pick up take pick up the bread slice take a take out the butter knife and now apply that butter over that and then again put the bread slice cut it into two half pieces and the follow on process so basically i wanted to say the same thing that as in your day to day life we follow some instructions we follow some process to do any particular work it's not only about the bread butter it's about your any of your question any of your things which you do in school if you try to solve a mathematical problem what you do you basically try to put the things one by one right you try to put the things one by if you have to solve a particular equation let's say that 2 plus 3 minus 5 plus 4 you apply some rule or you apply something and then you go ahead and you solve the problem so similarly computer works with the set of instructions okay computer work with the set of instructions is it clear with everyone so are you guys getting bored no ira ane are you guys very interesting okay now so if you guys getting bored let me know we'll have some fun activity we'll try to create some fun activity okay now um so computer comes in a different sizes and with different configurations configurations means like with different memory with different power and these things okay your computer can have you guys know about ram and ram and hard disk you guys know no okay no problem ira yeah I've heard about a hard disk but I don't know what RAM is. Okay. Yeah, same I've heard about um a hard disk but I don't know what a RAM is. Okay, no problem. Now let's take another example because the best way to learn anything is with the example. Now whatever your books are there, okay, whatever the books are there, where you keep your books? You keep them in a cupboard? Okay, you keep them in a cupboard? <laughs> or you keep it at a particular place when you go to school and you carry your book so you might take uh if you talk about your clothes so where, where you keep your clothes you keep your clothes in the cupboard right now that cupboard is what for you it is a storage for you that cupboard is a storage for you where you store all the things okay. i know what a hard disk is yeah I um, mean to where you put all your files and all your documents mm -hmm. like exactly. photos memory it's basically a store it's the storage mm -hmm. cabinet of a computer Exactly like a hard drive Yeah hard, hard drive or an overdrive So Anna you want to add anything here No okay So similarly as we have our clothes to store covered to store our clothes to store our books similarly in computer if you want to store anything it has hard disk it has hard disk and that hard disk comes with different different sizes if you have more clothes you will keep in two covers if you have less clothes you will keep in one cover okay so based on that you decide your capacity this is you decide your storage capacity that how much storage you need it so similarly for computer you have a different different storage sizes that comes in a particular unit it comes with a unit as a gigabyte or terabyte or petabyte we'll talk about all those units in some time but 
when i talk about gigabyte of these these are the units which is basically that how big your storage can be okay which will tell you how big your storage can be okay so that makes computer a little powerful to store all the files and to store it for a longer time now with different sizes when i talk about so if you like you might not have seen and now it is very difficult to see also but earlier the computer were of very very big sizes okay like it was of so big sizes that uh, it would be the in the length it would be of your covered okay it would be of your covered size so earlier covered uh, com this computers of are of very very big sizes yeah ira yeah, if you look at movies, like very old movies, you'll see computers in the background that they're typing on. They're like huge boxes that have like a box on the side and are connected to a keyboard. Yeah, yeah. So you, like you'll see them in old movies and like basically anything old. Exactly, exactly. Do you want to say anything? No, okay. So fine. So basically, computers earlier computers were of very very big sizes, and that because of that it was very difficult to store them or to keep them at a particular place, and you used to face lot of issues. But since time passed and since the uh, the technology has grown, there are a lot of good uh, scientists and people came in. The what they did that they have shrink the computer size to a very very small device. They have shrinked the size of a computer to a very, very small device. And now if you talk about that, what you can think here is that you can take an example, like you guys are working on a laptop. Laptop is what? It is a computer. And the size has been shrunk to such a small size that it came to the laptop and which you can, which is so easy that you can take it or you can carry it anywhere. It is very easy to use. It has a battery backup and everything. Right, you can just take it to your park and you can work from the park. You can take it to your friend house and you can work from there. From anywhere you can work. You have a desktop kind of a computer which has like a monitor, a CPU, and the other some parts like keyboard and mouse, and you start working on that. So is it clear? Yeah, Anne. So um, what my dad does is he has a laptop like mine. He takes it to his office. There's like a monitor and desktop and monitor and keyboard and mouse there. He works there and when he comes back, um, he also has a monitor and keyboard at his house. So and then he can work like that. So there's a bigger screen and then it's easier to type. Yes, so that is what that he the laptop screen is small. So sometimes if the laptop laptop also comes with different sizes. And if that size of screen is small, and if you want to view the things or if you want to see the things in a bigger screen, what you can do is that you can connect your laptop to another screen, which will give you a wider view or a wider picture of the output which you are seeing on your screen. Okay, Arjun, is it clear for you? Yes, sir. Okay, Ira, you, you have any questions? Good. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Now we are good with computer. We know that computer is an electronic device which stores something, which can process something by following a certain instructions. When computer follows a certain instruction, it can process, it can store the things. Okay. We are good with that. And we know now let's talk. We know one thing more that computer is derived from a, one of the Latin word known as compute which basically means that it calculates the things. Okay, do certain, so whatever instructions you are doing, it do calculations for that. Now, let's talk, we talked about the different computers. We talked about personal computer, we talked about laptop computers, and the larger computer which we were talking about, the larger, the bigger computer of the cover size, okay, or the room size, those computers were earlier known as the like the very large and the mainframe, compu uh, mainframe computers and these things. Now, these computers, like those computers are used, they are very, very powerful. Okay, they, they are used today also, these computers, they are very powerful and they are used for like in a banking sector and all. 
they use the like those computers so that every, your things are where every time it will be up so those computers are known as mainframe computers or mini computers okay basically they are known as mainframe computers but let's just make sure that we know about this personal computer and what is laptop computer they are very easy to carry portable you can do your work every time and anytime now before i go further with main parts of computer i would like to talk about one more important thing do you guys think that computer can understand your plain english language whatever you write it can't it understands uh, code like okay what do i think i agree with ira it only understands code um sorry ane can you repeat it again um i only understands code can you hear me now yeah i can hear you well thanks but if you want ask a question on google and you type it up it's still in english letters i don't know if that counts yes that is a different thing we'll talk about that as well arz what do you think that computer can understand english language it can understand english language but if you want to change the language you can use either you can program it or you can easily find a way to change the language if you are not from the country that the computer is using right now okay so i think you, you all of you guys have right that computer cannot understand english language basically we type it in english language here in computer but what does computer do with that language computer can understand only binary numbers yes ira any question ira uh, no <laughs> computer can understand only binary language or only binary number what are binary number they are 0 and 1 we have only two binary numbers one is 0 and another one is 1 okay so we have only two numbers 0 1 that's it the binary number each and everything which you write in computer it converts that thing to that to the form of 1 and 0 it converts those things to to form of 1 and 0 and it do some sort of calculations and lot and it do that in such a millisecond such a microsecond of a time that you even don't realize that how fast this computer that how fast these calculations are done by computer one minute are how fast these calculations are done by computer that so that you can able to uh, you can able to get the results in few seconds okay so computer understand two uh, only binary numbers that is 0 and 1 and it do certain sort of calculations certain sort of computations which basically gives you the result and computer is so powerful and so fast that it gives you the output in very very less time okay Yes, Anne. Please put your question. It's not a question, but like, if you search something on Google and it shows like the results and how many seconds, like or milliseconds, it um takes to answer that question, the output. Google. Yeah. So yeah. on. Type on anything on Google. It also gives you in very very less seconds, right? You see that the time get says you zero point zero 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 some seconds, right? O dot O some seconds it says, isn't it? Why? Because it has such a powerful engine and things running. We will talk about internet. We will talk little bit about Google as well. Okay. Okay. Anyone has any questions in understanding that how computer do the processing? What is this about zero and one number? No. so for basic understanding just make sure that computer understands only two things zero and one whatever you write in computer whatever you do in computer it converts those things into zero and into one arjun please focus here don't look over the screen so it fo it focus on or it basically it uh, understands only these two things zero and one and based on that what it do that it Uh, converts the things whatever you write and it gives you the output in your desired format or in your in the way you want it okay now if no questions with that then let's 
talk about a little bit more things. Now there are two things attached with the computer. One is with the hardware and another one is the software. Okay. One is the hardware and another one is the software. Now, does anyone have you any idea what is hardware and what is software? Yep, Ira, go ahead. Um, the software is the, like, the, it's the, like, the settings, I think. It's like the backup, the backup. Like the? The backup. Backup, okay, okay, cool. And hardware? Arjun? It's, I don't know what software is, but I mean, I don't know what hardware is, but I do know what software is. Software is like, sometimes you can see software update. I feel like software is the kind of technology that you're using it and when you get a software update as it is getting better it's like an update for the software it's getting better software is like not the type of computer but it's the technology of computer you're using how fast it is a very high software is many it's fast it's mainly very fast but a uh, low software can be made a bit slower or it just computes in a less more in a bit more second. Okay, okay, cool. And uh, Ane, do you want to add anything here? No, okay. So, Ira, do you want to add anything? I think you are saying something and got interrupted. No, okay, fine. So, whatever you guys have said, that exactly correct. I'm not saying that that's not correct, but let's try to understand. Now, hardware is what? See anything which you can feel or which you can touch basically anything which you can touch okay when you can able to touch it so definitely you can feel it okay that is your hardware right now the chair which you are sitting you can touch it right you can feel it that you are sitting on a chair the table which is there you can touch it the headphones which you have you can touch it you can feel it those are what those are my hardware those are known as kind of my hardware hardware means anything which I can touch. Now with this example, can we think what could be the things in computer which can be your hardware? So let me repeat myself again. Hardware is something which you can teach, uh, sorry, which you can touch and which you can feel like I am sitting on a chair that is hardware. I am sitting on a table that is on a hardware. What would be the parts in the computer which could be my hardware? Yes, Ane, go ahead. Ane, you are on mute. Sorry, the keyboard, the monitor. The yeah, we'll come to you. Okay. So, those stuff uh, that you can visibly see and touch. Yes, definitely. So, Ira, what do you think? Well, I think it's like the motherboard and yeah, what he said, the computer, the monitor. It's basically everything that makes up the computer, but not like nothing inside the computer, but what they do to put the computer together. True. That's true. That's true. Arjun, what do you think? Arjun, you are on mute. What do you think? What are the hardware or what are the parts which can be categorized as hardware in computer? Monitor, a keyboard, screen, a PC, the, the thing that operates everything. And then the inside is just software. Hardware is anything that you can touch, like you said. So like PC, monitor, screen, keyboard, mouse. I think that's exactly. it. Cable, wires. Exactly. So, definitely my keyboard, my mouse, my the screen which is there and if you open it then you have a motherboard and if you have a personal desktop computer you have a CPU. So, these all things are what? These all things are my hardware. So, anything which basically forms up a computer together, it is known as the hardware. Okay? That is known as my hardware. Now, what is software? What is software? If I talk about that what is software, 
so uh, just uh, for one minute hold on arjun i'll come to you now software is something which you cannot touch which you cannot feel okay which you can see that okay it means you can basically you cannot touch it you cannot feel it you cannot see it you think you see that okay things are going on okay but you cannot touch them you cannot feel them those are what those are my softwares those are my softwares yes arjun software is anything inside the computer so like let's say i search uh cars on google google you you can see the screen but the software inside it is the the cars inside you cannot feel it so that's the software inside the computer you cannot see it you cannot feel it or touch it but you can see it okay that, that's one of the great good example ilatran what do you think about like what could be the softwares we have um software would be like any updates that happened hmm. happen like storage update or app updates like that, any that, update that's completely right that's completely correct yes i mean please um it could be like any storage in the computer or like storage in the computer yeah yeah or and how much memory it has yeah okay so whatever you guys again answer is like right but let me tell you in terms of the computer that what could be the software now whatever files and things we are storing okay we are writing those files into something you guys would be working on microsoft office word microsoft office powerpoint Microsoft Office, Excel. Are you guys working on those, or like, have you ever seen those? Yes or no? We did a lot of Word and PowerPoint in fourth and fifth standard. Yeah. We would yeah. do essays and and slideshows on PowerPoint and then essays on Word, and okay. then in fifth grade we would store documents in Excel. Okay. Okay. And then, since the virus came, our teacher taught us how to use OneNote to use the class notebook, all the assignments, and then she also introduced us to Teams, where you can do individual meetings, and then your assignments and all questions can be recorded on Teams. Exactly. That's how we are using the Zoom. We are using a Zoom, and for that, we are using this meeting. We are doing a meeting here, right? This is what this is a meeting between you and us between sorry between me and you guys right mm. uh yep ira our class is doing something similar to what he said except we're using um google meet instead of teams cuz not many students in our school have teams like an account and okay. our school isn't that much like they don't teach us much on technology it's basically they just teach us how to use it and like this okay. docs and that. if you want to write anything if you want to write anything in computer where do you write apart from google if you want to write like let's say if i say that can you write about yourself where do you write um google docs files Files. Okay. Okay. What 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 laptop you got, you are using? Uh, Ira. Uh. Um. I don't actually know. Is it a Windows? Uh, it's a Dell. Dell. Okay. 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 Problem. Okay. Yes, Ani. And you can also like if you ask. Us to write about yourself, you can also do it on Word. Yes, yes. So, okay. So, as you guys mentioned, uh, yeah, Arjun, go ahead. Yeah, Arjun. I would like to add something. Yeah. I would like to add something. So, there's Office three sixty five, and even though Office three sixty five is a software, there is kind of more software. If you 
click on Office 365, it takes you to uh, Word, uh, OneNote, PowerPoint, Excel. So Office 365 is a more like condensed version of all of them. Instead of consistently searching up all of them, Office 365 is something that you don't have to download. You can easily just click on and get to. Office 365 has all your PowerPoint, Word, OneNote documents yes. stored. Excel document stored in its own file. Yes, Arjun, you are yes, absolutely, like software. absolutely correct. Yep, yep. So, softwares are something which basically allow you to work or which basically gives computer the instructions to work. If you talk about Office 365, whether you talk about Google Docs, whether you talk about the uh, whether you talk about your Excel, the PowerPoint, your Notepad, your WordPad, any of those, all those are software. Even if there is a paint, paint there is in the, your computer, right? Where you can paint and you can draw anything which you want. So that is also one of the software. Basically, the software is something which you cannot feel, which you cannot able to touch, but it gives you or it makes your work easier. Sorry, how it basically gives instructions to computer. It gives instructions to computer that, okay, draw a circle. And you, so when you click on that, like if you have worked on a paint, so you click on that shape and you draw that particular circle. So that is how what you can, that is how you can draw a circle. If you want to write, hi, my name is Anne or hi, my name is Ida or hi, my name is Arjun. So you, when you write those things, it allows you to write those things in computer. So that is the work of software. It gives the instructions to instructions which basically computer performs. So anything which is there inside the uh, computer which you are seeing over the screen, which you can see over the screen, that is all my software. Whether you install any games, whether you install any updates, everything is what? That is your software. The Microsoft, which Ira was speaking about, that is Windows, which Ira was talking about, that is also one of the software. That is also one of the operating system type. It, like that, softwares are categorized into a different different things. So this is about the hardware and the software. Okay, any questions, guys? No. Okay. Okay. So this is maybe Samsung is a software. Yeah. Now, this is about all the, operating companies are like operation softwares, right? Uh, no, not exactly. not exactly. Okay, I, I will. So, like, operating system is something different. I'll tell you when we come to that that what is it. Okay, now you guys would have heard about RAM. RAM and ROM? No, no. Okay. Now in computer, there is one of the very, very important thing, which basically makes your computer more powerful, which allows your computer to run fast, to work fast. For you, if you have to run fast, or if you have to like, if you have to go for a race, what do you do? You like, you try to run fast, right? And uh, for that, like you either practice or you, build up energy in yourself to do that. So how that energy, how that power come in computer? That comes via the RAM. RAM basically gives computer more processing power. Okay, it gives a computer more processing power. Now, RAM stands for random access memory. Okay, you don't have to remember it, but you should know that RAM stands for random access memory. Now, basically, as I talked earlier, that computer has some configuration in which we talked about one of the configuration as hard disk, where we can store all the things. And all these have some memory. Okay, and apart from that, computer has memory associated. Means it has, in our brain, we have what? We have memory, right? And the things are stored in my brain, correct? If someone is going to ask me, what is my name? I immediately answer, Sachin, right? What is your age? I immediately answer, this is my age. Okay, what, what is my... Uh, where do I live? I immediately answer that I live in Bangalore, right? So this is 
Why? Because these things are stored in my computer, in my brain. Okay. And where they are stored in my memory. Similarly, the com for computer, it has the memory from where it can process the things. Okay. It can give you the result faster. Okay. And that is known as your RAM. Anything which is stored there, that is stored for a... I have a yeah. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, if you download a game and you play on it, it is considered a software. And let's say you get up high in levels, is does that count as the computer's memory of the software memory? I'm sorry, uh, like if I have downloaded the game and after that, what you said, I missed it. We get more levels, like better at the game, you get different, different, let's say. Mm. I got your question. Basically, you are saying that if you have started playing some game and you went from level one to level two and level three to level four, level five, so on, right? Yeah. No, that is something different. That is how that software game is what? Game is a software. Game is a software. Yeah, but it does. Is that the computer software's memory? Does that count as the software memory? No, that doesn't count as a software memory. That is something which has been instructed into the computer. Okay, which has been instructed game. In software game. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, that is something functionality of game. RAM is something which basically pros makes the things fast, makes the processing fast in your computer. Okay, it stores the data for some time, it processes it, and as soon as you shut down your computer, it deletes that data. Okay, it deletes that data, and as soon as you load, as soon as you start it again. What does happen? That it starts loading your computer again. Whenever you start your computer, what happens? That you get a screen, right? With the starting windows or whatever it is written. Okay. So it starts that it starts your computer, it reads a thing from the from the hard disk and processing. Similarly, we have ROM, that is read-only memory. That is also one kind of memory. We have two main types of memory that is random access memory in which helps you to process the things faster and there is room that is read only memory it is kind of a small chip it is all these are small chip ram is also used the ram comes only in this much size earlier ram was used to like of a big size but now ram comes of small sizes and if you see if you guys know that you have a phone of which how much gb you guys ask right your your if you say that okay i have an iphone of a 16 uh, 16 gb memory and 2 gb ram 4 GB RAM, you see that there are different different phones which are coming out, 4 GB RAM, 6 GB RAM. So, do, do you guys have heard these terms that this much RAM we have? No? Even in your phone, they have a RAM. Okay. How your phone works faster when your phone is slow and these things are there, how your phone works faster? Because it has RAM. RAM is what? It is a memory where it can store each and everything. Okay. It stores the things for a time for a particular time so that if you ask your computer or if you ask your uh, smartphone to do 2 plus 3 it grabs it immediately processes and it gets the result from that okay it processes and it gets the result from that yep Ane? any question Ane? no no okay so, in a very simple term, to understand that we have two types of memories in a computer. One is RAM, another one is ROM. That is read-only memory and random access memory. RAM helps you to process or speed up the computer, helps in the faster. It comes in a different, different memory. The memory of computer is calculated in bytes. We'll talk about that. For now, you see that it comes with 2 GB. Let me write it down and show you that how it looks like. Let me reshare my screen. See, this is what this is one of my notepad, right? In which I can write out write down the things. So when I talk about RAM, it is it comes with 2 GB, 4 GB. Okay. You can increase as on GB you want, and how much you will increase, that will it will make your system powerful. Yes, Ira? 
For some computers, they don't have a um, notepad. We have sticky notes. Not yep. You can write there. Also. These are different yeah. softwares. Not this notepad is what? This is one of the software where you can write anything and it, you can save anything. Okay. So this is how it works when you talk about the memory. So this is about the memory. Okay. Now we'll so to, for today we will put the things on hold, but tomorrow we will discuss a little bit more about the computer and then from next week we'll talk about Python. Okay, tomorrow we'll talk about more about computers that uh, we'll talk about a little bit more about the parts of a computer and how they're useful, how they're helpful for us. Okay, so okay, so first I will ask one by one whatever we have studied today. And I will ask answer from all three of you so that we can take it up. So first of all, we talked about the introduction to computer where we discussed that what is computer? Okay, what is computer? So, uh, Ane, can you tell me what is computer? Um, electronic device that helps you search up stuff that has advanced memory to, and that can save more stuff. Like Steve, a lot of stuff. True, true. And uh, now, can Ira tell me that what are the softwares in computer? Softwares are the update that occur on a computer or any phone. So, like, you get an update that uh, mm -hmm. a update, mm -hmm. or even like sticky notes or um, files or edits. Those are all softwares that are downloaded onto the computer for exactly. various updates. Correct. And can Arjun tell me what are the hardwares in computer? Anything that you can feel and touch, such as the monitor, the motherboard, uh, the screen of the computer, the frame of the computer, the PC, keyboard, and mouse. Great. Now, can again Ane tell me that what are the different types of computers? There's like um, the personal computer that can take, there's a desktop and like the really big one. Can Ira tell me the same? A, a laptop, a main computer and a personal computer. Main computers are the big old computers. The personal ones are those that include a monitor, a desk. Yeah, we, we, call it as, we call it as mainframe computers. Yeah, mainframe. Hmm. Arjun, you want to add anything or you want to repeat the same? Uh, I would like to add that mainframe computers are used to like power big companies and they're more powerful and faster. Personal computers are only for you, such as the desktop and the laptops that are more portable. So you can move around easier if you have to do a business job or you are on vacation and you still need to do work. True, true. And can quickly anyone tell me, either or any one of you can unmute yourself and pick this question that what are the memory or what is the memory in computer? What are two types of memory? The two types of memory are random access memory and then the other one is the read only memory. You read it from the screen. <laughs> okay. No, I remembered it. I remembered it. Okay, okay. That's that's completely fine. Okay, Ira, can you can ask me you can ask me, you can ask me three classes later. Sure, I, I do I do ask you. Ira, can you tell me? Random access memory and uh, read only memory. The random access memory is like GB, it comes in 2B, 3B, 3GB, 4GB, and the read only memory is just GB. Okay, and can Ali tell me that why memory is used? What is the use of the memory? Why can't we can use it? So, in modern day life, on, when, people, um, when people do like, like adults, they have work, they need to, they need to see some PowerPoint links or they need to save installation so in that case memory can be used when when people save stuff 
when people need to save stuff on their computer so they can look back to it. So basically, you are trying to say that for the faster execution or for faster performance, memory can be used. Right? Memory helps us for faster processing. Right? So what do you think, Gira? You wanted to add something. Memory is like storage. It holds how much like we have and it saves everything that we create. Or is it a temporary storage or a permanent? It's permanent. It's no. always there. No, that is the hard disk, which is there. Yeah, Anne? Wait, wait, is the the RAM memory um temporary? Yep, right. So the RAM memory is temporary, whereas ROM memory is permanent because that's a small chip, whichever is written, you cannot erase it from ROM. That's why it's known as read-only memory. You cannot erase it, erase or you cannot delete anything from ROM, like your video card or anything which are there, that configured one. Yep, uh, Arjun, one minute, Arjun. So you can erase it, okay? And you cannot do that. That is your read-only memory. That is a permanent. Whereas RAM is random access memory, means anything can be accessed at any time. Yes, Arjun, go ahead. Why is RAM called random access memory? The reason why RAM is called random access memory is because it is having a temporary storage. Means it, you store it for some time, that value there, and after that you again access it. Now, it's not that you're accessing at a time one thing, right? From, you understand with the context of our brain. One time, I asked you, hey Arjun, what is your name? You told me your name. Someone else asked you, hey Arjun, what you, uh, what you had in your breakfast? Okay, what is, what is your plan for your weekend? Okay, what is your plan in the evening? So you have what random questions coming and random, for these questions you are giving the answers, right? Your brain works like memory. Yes. So similarly in RAM, you don't have stored everything permanently. It's not like that you have a fixed answer, right? If you had a if you had a bread butter in yesterday at yesterday in yesterday breakfast, so it's not necessary that you are going to have a bread butter today again, right? You might have complex, you might have butter, uh, Hello? any other thing. So you your voice crack. Okay. So I'm saying uh, that it's not necessary that what you had your breakfast yesterday that you can you might today. So every day your answers for the, your evening plan is right? Yes. So similarly we have that's the concept of random access memory, right? It you ask anything, it keeps on just fetching that particular thing randomly. Randomly it keeps on fetching the details and gives you the output. Okay. Does the example help you to understand this thing? Yes. Okay. Hey, what is going on? Why are you laughing so much? Share something with me also. You are on mute. The sun's in my eyes a little. That's why I'm right. Okay, so we will stop the session for today for here only. Okay, so be happy. It will be over now. I think like Ira is feeling bored now. And uh, so are you, so let me know, like, okay, I would like to understand the feedback from you guys. That What do you guys think that how was the session? Like, do you think something to improve upon? Do you think is what was boring? Do you think it was good? Did you guys think that you got to know something new? How do you guys think about it? What are your suggestions for me? What are your feedbacks? I I incredibly enjoyed the session. If the call quality was a bit better, it would be fun because in between you were talking, your voice was cracking. But other than that, I am very happy of what I've learned. I was very interested in random access memory and read-only memory. Thank you. This was very fun class. Thank you, Arjun. And let me just clear one more thing. So that there is a network issue at your end. So uh, Ira and uh, Ane, are you guys able to hear me properly or you, I am breaking? No, the whole time you were consistent. You didn't break once on my end. I think you broke like a little bit, but like... Yeah, like very little, but you... 
Yeah, I was breaking a bit as well. Like, for me, he was breaking a little, maybe from like time to time. Yeah, so I see like there is a certain lag at your end. So might we'll see that if that happens again, I'll try to change it to a different network for me also. Okay, Anna, yeah, go ahead. Wait, so if your name is such an Agar Agarwal, then yeah. on your Zoom name, why is it called being Datum? Okay, so okay, so I like I have one of the learning, uh, like you say, academy or the online academy, which is named as a Being Data, and like, I have a Zoom account with that only. I don't have a Zoom account with my personal ID, so that's why I have logged in via that account. Okay, yeah. So any feedback, any suggestions, any you wanna give? How did you like like the session? How did you enjoy the session? What is it? I think it was good. Um, like, it was good. I, I, I was kind of interested in learning. But did you learn anything new today? Yes, I learned a not, lot of things. I learned the read access memory and the read no, the art the RAM and RAM memory. And, um, Adding on to an A, at this point, I didn't know what hardware and software was, but thanks to you, now I know it. Okay, no problem. Yep, Anne. That's all. Okay. Okay, uh, Ira, your feedback, your inputs. What it was nice. Um, I learned a lot of things I did not know before about computers, like random access memory point is only temporary and things like that. Okay, okay. So I think like then it's good, like it's good to hear a positive feedback from every one of you. And definitely you can let me know if you guys think that okay, anything is not clear or something is not there. You guys are very intelligent guys. So you guys know a lot of things already. So that is something good to know. And it would be like we'll have a more good, good things and more good sessions uh, again. So we'll close the session for today here itself. And we'll meet again tomorrow at the same time. Arjun, I'll come to you and we'll meet us uh, again tomorrow at the same time. Okay. So, yeah, Arjun, go ahead. Is it like 12, since you are in India, is it like 12 a.m. in the night for you? Yes, it's 11.50 uh, p.m. here. So, just like 10 minutes to go for 10 a.m. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, thank you guys. Thank you very much for joining and like thank you for listening to me so thank you bye everyone let's meet up tomorrow again okay bye 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 bye, bye.